for myself, I do everything in PowerPoint. Um, I'm not as familiar when it comes to like Adobe Photoshop, but I found with PowerPoint you can do a lot when it comes to uh, image creation, content creation, because you can create different layers out of all of this. So each PowerPoint booklet, if you will, is kind of like a different project is what I'm usually doing. And for this to work well for Facebook, you're going to notice I'm trying to put everything centered on the page, so I'm leaving extra space on the outsides here. That's what's going to get cut, so the, the more you have it in the center, the more likely you are to get all the words across. I'm guessing the top here is probably a little bit too big, so I'll come in. Let's shrink it down a little bit. Then we can squeeze it in a little bit more. And I was talking about the layers before. You can see this is kind of one of those examples of by just taking this one image, I can put it in showing the logo as if it was the words there. Once I have everything exactly the way I'm looking for it to be, I will come and I will select all the different parts. So I can then copy these. You can either group them, go picture tools, group, then right click, I go copy, and I'll go and create a brand new slide to where I can right click and paste, and now it acts as a single image. So one of the, I've started to use Zoom as one of my favorite ways to actually be able to record video. Matter of fact, I'm using it right now because it gives me the ability to utilize uh, my own backdrop however I wish. So in this specific video, you see I've got the vendor sync logo back above me using green screen. So I can also change it to a very solid color, which makes it very easy to then remove the background or make it transparent. Now the benefit of doing that is it gives me the ability to take something like this where you can see I had something above it. I just did a quick uh, snipping tool, grabbed a blank area that was covered up, copied it, and then pasted it in to really cover up the thing I didn't want to have seen. Now once I do that, I then need to actually select all of the different pieces. So on the side here you can see we've got picture one, two, and three. Okay, By selecting all of the different items and then clicking copy, select all, I go right click, copy. I'll then go to a new slide, blank one, and if I go paste the picture, it's now a single item as we've shown before. So this gives me the ability that now if I go to picture tools, I can do a couple different ways. I could go remove background and I can play with the areas to keep by kind of going like this, you know, making sure it's as perfect as it can be get my little tiny bits of hair at the top there also, or you can actually choose a specific color to remove. So I'm going to go discard these changes. I'll show you that way. That's under color, set transparent color, and you just click it. So as a colorblind account, I find that to be very helpful. So now I basically have this back image or this image without anything behind it. I can tell because I'm clicking now on the slide itself. Whoops. I'm going to go format the background, and I can always just double check by switching the transparency up on that. And if I still, still saw white, I would know I wasn't done yet. So now that I have it the way I like, control copy it, right click to copy. Then I go over to my other slide that I'm going to do my work on. And if there was not something here, I could go to this one, I guess. And I can basically go control V and you want to paste it to give you this look. Now the next part, which kind of adds a little extra oomph to it, is if you go to your picture tools and go to picture effects, you can go to glow and choose a glow that goes around it. So by choosing that, you can see it's given that, that yellow effect or the highlighted effect. The next thing you'd want to do is you can actually boost it up more, uh, make it wider, I guess is what I'd like to say. So we'll go to more options and let's take this thing, let's go good size here. You can choose how transparent it is or not. Maybe I really want to be on fire for the day. Um, and 
once you have this exactly the way you wish, again, you can take this, control copy, and you can move it to a different slide, or you can do it right here. You can start to resize things, but that's really how you get that immediate feel for it. From there, the next thing I would do, of course, is I would just go in, I would start changing my words, I would add in insert word art, start typing it all out, play with the spacing, all of it, so forth. And when it's all done, on purpose, you want to have this much wider area, okay? So you're going to save the whole thing as an image, even with the wider area, because you want it to be oversized and it squeezes the stuff into the center. So again, a couple ways to do something like that. Easy ways, snipping tool. We've got on a short delay, boom. I would go control copy. And I like to do this because I like to bring it in, paste it in so I can give it a, a little bit of shadow to it. Bring it up to the right size or actually the design ideas are always great. Then right click, save as a picture and you're going to name it. So we'll just do this real quickly, custom lists. Boom. 